Welcome. <laughs> the other day I did a rocking horse card. It was the first week of the 12 weeks of Christmas. And I thought, oh, let's take that idea and make a whole bunch more cards. So we're going to make a bunch of these today. And then we'll we'll look at those a little closely. It's so glad to have you guys here. There are already on the back porch stampers a bunch of really fun rocker cards. These are called because they rock. Uh, so you're going to want to come over. And of course, this is going to be the challenge for the week to do rocker cards. And the question of the day is how many of you had rocking horses when you were kids? Yes. <laughs> that, you know, that is a good question. We had uh, like an antique one when our kids were little, you know, we bought one and then we had an antique one in front of the fire. I've always loved rocking horses and bouncy horses, any of those kinds of things. So very fun. That's a good question. And I remember we made with the kids, the horses you put on sticks, you know, with the stockings, whoever did those, that was fun too. You know, that was just the stuffed head and then you yeah. go galloping oh, yeah. around. Uh, yeah, so very fun when you think about that. And right. then the other thing is just rocking chairs, rocking things in mm -hmm. general is such a fun thing. I love rocking chairs. I've always loved rocking chairs. And when I was a kid, we had bucking horses, real ones, real horses. Oh, yes, you had real horses. In fact, your brother brought a horse into the house, he rode, it. Yeah. rode the horse into the kitchen to show... <laughs> our neighbors your neighbors your your mom was not thrilled so <laughs> we're actually some of karen's relatives okay now, yes now we know <laughs> say it's so funny so all oh, the stick horses yes um oh and real horses that pitched me off yeah I, yes i never had the real oh, horses yeah. but so fun i just love um memorabilia you know memory fun things like that so um the host code for this month is this you can always find it at karentitus.com you can always otherwise ask me for it too. Um, 40 silly, six silly, 42 year something. But I'm not sure what the rest of it is. But. And then my only announcement is next Tuesday is our All Good Cards Club. And we are doing all things stencils, all kinds of stencils, masks. You can use, doesn't need to be Stampin' Up, doesn't need to be current. So when's that? We're just on uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh, and this is, I have to see if you can see it. This is a, um, just really look at that gorgeous card. So. That's a little preview. We're going to be doing a dozen different techniques. So you can still join us. I think those are so fun. Um, we've got mail. And then first, oh, we have mail. So we will come down here and look at mail, one of our favorite things to do. Michelle Olmos from Georgia. Some of these are for your mother. Oh, so. that, how fun. And Michelle is a team member, and that is so cute. Oh, my goodness. That is so fun, and I love this. Um, a fold like that. Isn't that fun showing off the papers? Candy Wampus. Yes. And that is beautiful. I love that, Michelle. How cool is that? Ah, Becky Lynn says she's looking forward to class on Tuesday. I am so glad we have a lot of fun planned. And actually next week, instead of Thursday, we'll be live on Wednesday. But if you're on my email, email list, you will notice that because we're going to be babysitting um, our grandkids in Chicago for a few days. So we got to work all that the in. Kavanaugh's from Michigan. Look at this. Oh, Wanda, how cool is that? We love these cards with the... Um... How do you open it? This was just like, a, just like, oh, you open it like yeah. that, okay. <laughs> okay, that is just stinking cute. Okay, look at, she's got this card layout that we did a while ago. I love this, where you see that, and it's cut off on that. And then she's got the wobbles. Is that just cute? I am bringing for my grandkids those wobble ghosts, the glow in the dark ghost cards that uh, Hank and I made a video with. So I thought they would be fun. I'm going to bring those to the grandkids. The biggest pumpkin in the United States. Yes. Minnesota. You're in Minnesota. And how, how big was it? It was huge. It was the largest it's ever been. Beverly Driver from Minnesota. Oh, is that adorable? <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, this is just one of my favorite papers ever too. And there's still the stamp set, not the paper, but the stamp set. If you want a rainbow, you've got to deal with a little rain. <laughs> I love it. That we're, is a great thing. We're going saying. to be dealing with it the next few days. Oh, we're supposed to have a, a lot of rain here, so we shall see. <laughs> That's so great. And for my mom from Vesta Stream, how oh, oh, she will love that. And it's a latch card. Is see how it just lies flat? It looks like your mother. It does. Look at that. Opens up. Opens up again. Oh, that is so wonderful. She will love that. So we put that in my mom's pile. And my I mom's still doing today, well at so. 99. Tim's going to run out today if he has... If you can fit it in, we had to do a little uh, work around the house since the rain is coming. <laughs> so, Margaret Springer from Michigan. Oh, another cute Halloween card. 
Oh, that's really fun paper, isn't it? Isn't that fun? It is. Look at colored in. Oh, really, really cute. And let's see. I'm going to <laughs> I should be having you open this, I think. Oh, look Whoa. at this. Another wobbler. Oh, I absolutely love the wobblers. Eek. Isn't that just fun? All these. Oh, that is so cute. Absolutely adorable. Oh, I love it. So fun. And then we have Denise Wagner from Colorado. And just this beautiful. Oh, this is one of my favorite celebration papers ever. Look how gorgeous that is. Just paper. Stamp your words inside. Mm. And she added that. Add some layers. And that is a gorgeous, gorgeous. Ah, and this was a, a thank you. Boy, she sent this for all four of us that did card play together. Yeah, Karen, Holly, Deb, Julie, Narshell. Oh, that is so fun. And Narsh is our other virtual assistant. Um, that is so cool. So it's a thank you. Oh, I will, I will have to post that so they all see that. That is so wonderful. We had so much fun doing it. Vesta Streep sent another one for me. One of my favorite layouts ever. Do I say that often enough? I think so. <laughs> but this is another just go-to. I just love what you can do with squares. That amazing quilt mm -hmm. looked. Look, how cool is that? And then she's got embossing on the background. Oh, that is so fun. Oh, another thank you, too, for the retreat. Oh, you guys and are amazing. Karen's, a, we probably said this more than once, but Karen's a quilter. Mm -hmm. She gave me a star quilt. Yeah, my very, my first full-size quilt was for you when we were dating, Whoa, which is really man. interesting. I had made baby quilts, ago. but I'd never made um, my uh, roommate Karen, another Karen, and I decided to make quilts for our uh, boyfriends. And Tim and I lasted, and they didn't. So, <laughs> But we both made quilts. So. Oh, and another, gore. okay, we're going to do this card we really both. soon. I absolutely love this. We're Isn't that Karen. gorgeous? <laughs> yeah, we're both Karen. Isn't that cool? Oh, you guys, these are such fun cards, and I absolutely love getting cards. And they're both, they were both fussy about their men. <laughs> I wore her Okay, down. no comment. No, I said Tim was just I asking for down. trouble, isn't he? Okay, let's look at a couple of cards first, and then we'll dive right in. So this was the one that I have a short video on this. And, of course, now when you go to my blog uh, this evening, there will be a project sheet up, so it'll be easy to download. Look, it works but I the, just it works on the side. Look. I think these cards, yes, and we are we are making we're making just this size. It's kind of a little smaller size. We can do so many variations of this. So if there's interest, we'll keep on going and doing some. Those other glasses things. were supposed to fit, but it's a smaller card. Yes, that's right. But isn't that cool? We shrunk. I love. Look how simple this is, and smile. I think that is just so fun. Um, and there's different ways of doing backs. We're going to do some simple things shows, today. Shows up there. Oh, well, I don't know. Ooh. On the horse card, and I'll explain this as we're making things, I do have a backing because I colored this, and you would see all the Stampin' Blends beyond. So I was fine with it being Ooh. white. I just cut out another one and put behind there. I also love, because then I could put these one on each side, if you notice. And I've actually found if I do that one on each side, I'm not even sure if I need the middle, because it seems like that helps hold it together. But we'll keep adding the middles. But know that anything we do can be totally changed. You can make things any way you want. We just love to take an idea and run with it. And this one, I did not put a backing on. So you can do whatever. Okay, let's look at, oh, should we look at a few more first? Oh, we'll, we'll look at some first and then we'll create. And I have a bunch that we can create. Look how cool this is with the tree. And I have another Christmas tree mm -hmm. on the back. And see, rocking around the Christmas tree. Yes. That's what this needs. Just thinking about that, that song. Oh, I need to I need to close that up with my little thing. But I think that is fun. These are little cards that you would put on the mantle. Now you can make these bigger. We're using like four inch circles or they could be four and a quarter. You could go bigger. And if it's not tall, they'll still fit in an envelope, but we're just doing one size today. Just want you to know. Um, these I put in just a regular invitation size envelope. They all are just perfect for that. Any rocking horse comments? Oh, can't wait to see what Tim has planned for us today. Okay. Oh, right. He's got a yes. Getting... Life is better with you. Now how adorable. I'm, this is a brand new stamp set that you can pre-order. Demonstrators can pre-order. Customers can order in November. If you end up deciding to take advantage of that starter kit, this is one you can get now. And here are two more from the set. I'll just show this right now. We're going to make cards with these two. 
fat cat. Are these adorable? They're all from the same thing. That's a fat cat. They're all fluffy, fluffy, fluffiest animals or something, but they're so supposed to look figure at. out what bear won. I didn't. Well, you didn't, but you're still talking about that's where the idea came from. Because you've been tracking that. We, we can always put up a post. He said he said the voting was over, but I don't know who ended up winning. But we saw this and thought, oh, fattest bear. And that's what Tim's been doing. So I'm going to set those aside. I think those are absolutely adorable. Where do you write on the rocking card? Yep. You're going to write. <laughs> I'm going to put a half circle right here. I did on some of them. I didn't on some. Um, on this one, you could write in the back. I would add white pieces um, and just add that way. And I didn't do that, but that's what done. Um, so you just use the same. And you're going to notice some of these, like the rocking horse. I just did half of the front on there. And then this, I would put a white. I just forgot to do that. I'd put a white so I could write on this part, a half of a white. Um, an even easier way to do is to flip them over. We're going to do some of each today. I think we're going to flip them over today, but here, do you want to see another sneak peek? Okay. Here are two, here are two snoot, two more sneak peek cards. Snoop. Look at how, how cute are these? Now, Winking and they, bro they both rock. I said, they're just so fun. This paper. Now these are jars. This is um, another new set, brand new set. And do you know who gets to order this? Anyone who's going to on stage. And I would have to say, I think my favorite thing about the starter kit thing this month, you get to go to the on stage for free. I'm going to put this up on me for a minute because I know um, who here went to the Stampin' Up! World Card Making Day. Uh, we all got to go to that. That was a, a free thing they did. They have uh, paid, us demonstrators, we're paying $77 to go to on stage. It's a virtual thing. Anyone who joins this month gets to go for free. And we get to pre-order this adorable bundle that we will be using for make and takes. I think that is um, just a stunning thing. And then the other thing is, if you do decide to buy the kit, you are active through March. Even if you don't place an order until then. I mean, there is a 30% off or 35% or off or 35% more. And, and if I made one of these, I would work it into a, the bee's knees. Bee's oh, yes. We have all the fun comments you can make with that. But so I thought, but so I just wanted to highlight, whoa, then I just wanted to highlight this new paper too. And you see, this has jars of honey. So I cut this because if I folded it over, my honey jars would be upside down over and there. Spilling. I don't know if it matters because it'd be on the back. It'd be a mess. Whereas this one, it wouldn't matter because it's plaids. Now here, um, on this one, I just left it. So I will add white and put on this one, we did, you're as sweet as honey. And then on the back, you'll always be the one for me. So it's not cute. And then I'd write right on this. I wouldn't add any white because this will be big enough to show. So it all depends on how you want your backs to look. Um, so yes, this would be a cute bookmark card too. But I thought, yes. Uh, um, but anyway, this is... um. So this is what we're doing today. And I thought they are just so cute. Let's start with, here, we'll do this first. First, I wanted to start with my ever ready. I am using the deckled circles. And this one is like four inches or a little over, but you could use anything. You know, you can even trace a bowl and hand cut. So do these with kids. It's just really fun. I'm just doing these very simply. And I'm just happening to use this, but feel free to play around. And then as we've mentioned before, and of course, I keep a whole bunch of these in my, here, I'll, I'll have you do the music one, because, hey, we're going to a music thing tonight. We are. A special thing with our son and grandson, Hank. Do you want to say what that is? It's um, Girl from the North Country. It is a play that has to do with people in life, but it follows the one of the early albums of Bob Dylan, Girl from the North Country. And it really gets good reviews. So we're looking forward. It's so fun to, for, especially for Tim, his love of music, to be able to share that with his son and grandson. Or to, so, so anyway, that's going to be really fun. So now I'm going to explain what I did here while I had Tim talk. You'll notice I'm not even scoring these. I could take the score thing out and get a nice crisp score line. But as I've mentioned before, you can find a give. So j just feel this once and find the place that it's easy to fold. But not that way. But it doesn't matter that way. Just go around till you find what's easier than the other. Can you find a, a place on the card that sees that? See how that resists? Yeah. See how you hit some that just totally resists. Actually, I'm going to want it to go this way. But this way is really easy. Yeah. 
Oh, so I'm going to put this down, and I should, I should be doing. I this guess I, I guess I was taking too long. Finding <laughs> so, and then with DSP, it really doesn't matter either because we can do this. So we are really um, doing this quickly. So you're going to do the same thing I am. We are going to put tape on half of the circle. So we're going to make two cards at one time. I think these are pretty cute to make. And then how do you do this? Then you're going to see if you watch me, you're going to put the fold in there and then you're going to look at that and just try to get it kind of as fold. You're going to tuck it down, just put it right in there. Mm -hmm. Let's see. How's that going to look? It'll, yep. Yeah. Then just press it down tight. Perfect. We're going to come back and do the other side. Okay. Who's making these with us? See, then I'm going to flip down that side and you're going to flip down this side. And we're making the super simple ones here. We're not putting any backings on. Okay, Tony is working with us. Carolyn said she just got her sweet frown station. Yeah, it's really fun. So I said, it's a, okay, so you're going to, okay, then these are going to be our little rocker things to hold it. The purpose of this is to hold it so that they don't like start going like that. Mm -hmm. So these are just little strips of paper. I... This is a half inch by two inches. That's a half inch? A half inch wide by two inches long. And wow. then we're scoring it a half inch. So we're just doing half inches. And uh, and again, you could have different sizes. The idea is just we're building a little tab for this to hold on. So you can use these measurements or you can make up your own. It's all good. Ooh. And then you're going to just fold that up. I just think, you know, these are just so cute. And again, it looks like, oh, how'd you do that? Then I'm going to put a glue dot. Here, I'll do yours first. I'm just going to put a glue dot. So I can show her how to do it. That's right. Uh, on yours. And then I'll put glue dots on mine. Or you could put tape or whatever. So really, if you have kids and you want to do this and you don't have big circles, just let them trace around the bowl or a cup or, you know, just have fun with it. All of this is just meant to be fun. These don't need to be perfect. They'll love making rocker cards. And then you see, we're just going to set this inside. So you can put one end in, squeeze it, and then it's going to keep it from going flat. So that's our, and I even have them color coordinated, but they wouldn't need to be. Then you're just going to build. I think they need to be. Okay. You're going to just decide where you want your, Things and you can use two, you can use one, you can do whatever you want here. Okay, but these are different. Oh, so this would be the most similar. This would be the most similar. But you so, notice this one I did put a back, and it's again, it's because I colored them. You could see the color coming through because they're mm -hmm. blends. Ours, I decided since we're doing these really simply, I'm just gonna let the back be like this. This isn't one. Okay, care accordion about. music. So we're being course. simple. I've got to use accordion music. Okay, so I will put glue dots on, and then you're gonna put it wherever you want. And I should put him playing out there because nobody wants to listen to him. Okay. <laughs> Tim's card has a story. <laughs> well, I used to play because... the accordion. So. <laughs> and did you feel like no one wanted to no, listen to you? No. They no. probably really didn't, but I don't know if it's because it was the accordion. <laughs> okay. Well, he's drawing a crowd. Oh, he's drawing them in. Okay. Or maybe they're covering all parts of the stage. You know, who knows? <laughs> and you you could pop that one up if you want him more kind of centered. Okay, I'm gonna put that down here. So see, I I have my little. Oh my God, the, the microphone just sticks in there. <laughs> okay, let's. Okay, do you think Tim is gonna go for efficiency? No, no, no. They're competing. Okay, I want. A okay, pop popped up. You want this one popped up. But you want this one first. You need a couple of Why? glue dots on this to hold it, don't you? Don't you want to put this guy on first or, or wherever you're going to put him? <laughs> oh, and I will put mine on. <laughs> oh, who loves accordion music? Gene? Oh, okay, Tim's got your number. Um, we just had this running joke because Tim used to collect accordions and couldn't learn to play for the life of him. So Tim loves accordion music too, but I'm really glad that he has gifted his accordions um, to people who actually can play them. <laughs> I have. 
How cute are these? So look at, you, you know, you could make a whole bunch of these and have some just adorable cards. Now, you have something great to celebrate, but you don't even need it. You could put it on the back or you could put it nowhere. Okay. Oh, so Let me think about it. Yep. Is that that? Well, but you can't think too long because we're on to another card, you know. Oh, my goodness. Here is Tim's fat bear cards. Now we're going to do it the other way. Okay. Uh, let's see. Which base do you want? You can have either one of these because they kind of all go together mm. here. Let's see, whatever we have. So we're going to do how we did beaver this with this. Okay. No, that's not a beaver. That's a bear. Yes, I'll do the beaver. Do <laughs> okay. This one again. So notice your papers, but see if this Ooh, is a, that one's great. hard. This one just bends right over. Yep. That is going with the fold on your paper. Oh, with the grain. With the go grain, yes. <laughs> I guess we're folding with the grain. We're not. Okay. And then. Did I pay attention to what Karen says? That's this right. Opportunity to, to correct me. To correct me. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Here's one for you. I don't want that one. I want that one. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. But this is your, your thing that goes with. Okay. Okay, like this. So like this. Uh -huh. we'll put this on just like we did the last time. So how easy oh, is this? Yeah. This is a oh. whole lot easier than even cutting your paper and doing it. <laughs> oh, ah. <laughs> so the fattest bear thing was they have this contest. Is it in Minnesota, Tim? They have it every year. No, in Alaska. Oh, in Alaska. I guess it makes sense. It? And he loves watching it because... <laughs> Uh, do people just send in pictures and then they vote? So they, they vote. They follow them around. It's a national, it's a big okay. national. Does anyone here right. watch the Fattest Bear content? Um, uh, somebody should say they do, and maybe Tim will send you do the any card of you here. Feed, go out and feed the bears to, <laughs> to okay. fatten them up. <laughs> okay, do we want to do that now? Yep. And again, I made a whole bunch of these little critters too. So while I was sitting there coloring them, but here you're going to see. Okay, so we do these now. Yep. Now we'll put that in. Um, okay, here's mine. So here we'll put the. So it's just going to show if I flip this over, this is why I cut out a separate one. So do you see? Ooh, I nice. didn't want to see that on the back. That's why we just cut out another one. To go over it so that the back looks plainer. Okay, I have to look at the lighting here to make sure this goes on. Okay, there's okay. yours, Thank you, and here will be mine. We are going up to Duluth this weekend. It's supposed to be a very rainy weekend, but we'll have a wonderful time anyway. Our daughter and son-in-law moved up there. Yep, so we're going to, it's our first time to go visit them up there. Oh, there we yeah, go. So any of you from Duluth and stuff, let us know, because when we can, we love to, we love to connect with people. So it's awesome. Okay, so, let's... Okay, so now we both have our rocking bases. I just think that is so fun. Uh, now, just a minute. Do you know the right, the side you're going to put it on? Because it has to go, yeah. oh, you do, you're, you're totally. <laughs> and you're going to leave everything except the, you're going to tape everything except the very bottom. I really He's really on top of this, you guys. How about that? Not totally. And this is why sometimes I do that part for you and you can just assemble. <laughs> because the little tricks <laughs> that uh, we all know. It's a little tricky. So I'm going to do the same. Just so going to attach our little guys. And then this part is open right down here, and I'm going to stick in glue dots. Mm. Um, I could have left a little... I got oh, sticky fingers. You got sticky fingers? Okay, I'm going to okay. I'm gonna put little glue dots right here. So this is gonna go over it, or what, what did you... Yes, consider? it's gonna go over the divide. So look at like this one, to see how it kind of goes mm -hmm. over, and it just helps hold it steady and then it just looks nicer on the back too okay so how do we do that okay so like this see i'm sticking these things in if you want me to do that part for you you can tell me but otherwise you're going to okay give me a uh, here's a little thing, thing now yours is probably big enough actually wait on yours a second because i did mine a little too tight so i'm going to show you what what we can do with yours so i'm just going to stick this guy on and i just want i want him sitting up nice and tall 
And mm. then I was going to put down here, you've got the biggest heart. Well, I obviously plan to do the other paper. Oh, but that's going to be fine. Um, I might, I might just do it that way. Okay. We'll live with it this way. So you've got the biggest heart because he's holding a heart. So I thought, that's just kind of fun. Now on yours, what I think is cool. This is what I do. Now this is a bigger ones when they're bigger and like the, some of the others that I did too. On purpose. Well, it's, yeah. And it's a lot easier, the easier. They're just easier to work with. Cause you see, we can just do this. I can just go under here and do this and one there. Okay. It's much easier than the way I did it. Do you want to do these two? No. Oh yeah. Or, do I'll do this. I oh, do yeah. both sides. Okay. No, you do them all. Okay. And then now. you can put it on. Now. So how perfect is that? Right it's raining cats and dogs in Florida. Perfect for stamping. Karen, yes, it is. We're supposed Karen, to get many inches. Wet. How did that get stuck on you? Oh, no, it's not. These two. Oh. Oh. There. Oh, okay. Okay. There. okay. okay. We'll try that. We, we can always fix it. And you can put them up pretty high because nope, they'll just low. make them be as tall as you can. Pretty you low. can also, you're going to put them low and just make a little mini card. And then did you want, this was the words for this, but you don't need it either. This is your as sweet as honey. And that could go in the back. But you see how these can be any, they can be just short little squat cards. They can be um, tall cards like this one. I just think it's fun because all of these, all of these just work so well. But that's not going to work. Well, I would maybe put on the back because well, it's just your little thank you on the back. Otherwise, it just might not rock that Ooh, well. Yes, see, that'll that, be cute. And because... then you can still write your little thing right above there. Okay. So I'll just put a little tape on. That'll totally work. See, it's all good. We just have options. <laughs> Carolyn said she always has to watch the video first and then make projects. I thought, yeah, that's, that that would be me. <laughs> oh, Gail. Okay, Gail has an even better idea. She said, no, go ahead and do that. Well, um, but for the rocker part, she said, put the glue dots on here first and then just open the thing and set it over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So ideas are meant to be refined and always they were more creative together than we are separately. So did you guys catch that? So yeah, there's the easier version. <laughs> so I'm going to just put all these out again. I just think so. This is, uh, Tim is going to send this card out to somebody. So let us know just make a comment. I'll have him pick a comment or, or we'll just pick a name from someone who um, <laughs> says something about the fattest bear contest. Maybe you went and voted in it. Maybe you're going to go look it up now, but look how adorable all these fun cards are. And they're so quick and easy. What is the fourth critter? Uh, there are um, five critters in these. I believe there are the, oh, there's the bird, the cat. Oh, there's a bunny, the bird, the cat, the bunny. The bear, the otter. So I think it's five. The beaver. And then there's a bunny. Beaver. Adorable. And the only way you can get these right now is to get the starter kit. But otherwise, you can get them next month. But they are so adorable. And then these are also <laughs> what you can get. So I said, <laughs> Lisa said she thinks we're a fat bear. Well, we're not, um, <laughs> we're not voting on that. <laughs> Bears are supposed to be chubby. You betcha, chubby and cuddly. And I well, just think it's so. they sleep all winter. Yeah, they got to store up all that. So and I just think, do. I just think what's so fun. And I love uh, Fluffy. These are Fluffy friends. You know, they're Fluffy. So I I love that whole thing. So, you know, we did the huge, uh, like you just said, the big pumpkin. And now it's like the biggest, fattest bear. You know, we're just kind of into, sounds like America oversizing. It is. <laughs> it is. I was going to say something, but, um, oh, a shout out to metabolism. <laughs> yes, because the right. bears yeah. eat, eat that all winter by sleeping. Yes, the beauty of creation, just um, all, the, all these different things work. So Pat said she remembers seeing something about the fat bear contest on the news. One was huge. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, so much for watching this. So over in the back porch stampers is where you're going to place yours. Make sure you're on my email list to get supplies. And I'm doing the 12 weeks of Christmas, both by email newsletter and a whole different set of projects on YouTube. So follow me everywhere. It's just fun. We just love the season and creating together. Um, are those for November or January? Uh, November. Uh, the B will be January, I believe, for customers. That's why we're just getting early for on stage. And this, this, this set should be for November, if that makes sense. Um, <laughs> Carolyn says she feels really educated now because she never heard of that contest. Oh, we do our best to, to enlighten you on the important things in life because 
you know, it's important to just take a break and laugh. <laughs> That's what we need. <laughs> Thanks, all of you. We appreciate you. Let me know if you need anything. And we'll see you next on Monday evening. And then Tuesday for All Good Cards Club, Wednesday for this. And have fun. Okay. I just fall is just the best. So we're enjoying every moment. Thank you, everyone.